Hello everyone, this is a video explaining about once you have a meeting in your uh, team application, uh, you need to know essentials about it. First of all, in the first, we will start with the action uh, bar that shows in your desktop screen. The first part here is for the time. Next to it, you've got the turn camera off or on. If you have it on, you can turn it off. If you have it off, you can turn it on. The third one here, it's the mute. Um, if you click it, if I click this, nobody from this from here will hear me. And if I unclick it, it's unmute. If I unmute it, everybody will be able to hear me. The, uh, this button, if you uh, put the mouse over it, you'll find it says share. So once we click it, you can share information. So if I try it now with everybody, and um, Miss Maya, can you try to share your uh, something from your phone? You're using your phone, right? Yes. Can you please try to share something? Because you're using your phone, you have a different application. Uh, so yes. try to use something. Can you tell us how do you share? Is it the same button on okay. the desktop? No, it's different. You have to go to the three dots. Click on it, then choose share. It's the fourth one. Then you will get share PowerPoint, share photo, share video, share screen. Okay? okay, so I will share screen. Share screen, fine. Then you will get screen broadcast, Microsoft Teams, start broadcast. So I will click on start broadcast. Okay. As you can see now, Miss Maya started broadcasting her uh, iPhone screen uh, using the share option. All right, that's from the iPhone. Now, uh, Miss Maya, we will stop the broadcast and I will share yes. something from my desktop. Okay. Here, here we've got, uh, I'll click share. Once I click share, we've got these options, either desktop or window or PowerPoint. Now here we have to upload PowerPoint to files. And the files that I'm talking about is uh, in the file system in my, uh, in our system here, the file system, all right? Uh, let's start sharing screen. So, Miss Maya, tell me, what do you see? Miss Maha, tell me, do you see my screen? Yes, I see your screen. So you see my desktop, right? Yes. And uh, I can explain here, if, if I'm a teacher now, I should be like opening a, a whatever a video, a folder, a file, whatever I want to explain for my students. If I want to stop it, I go back to the bottom, all right? I click and unminimize it. This is my meeting. All right, and I stop sharing here. I have to stop sharing from the same button I shared with. So now, uh, do you see me or you still see the desktop? We're seeing you now. Okay, now this is for the sharing option. The other one, the other sharing option, all right, the window, if I click on this, uh, it will share only the window of, of Teams. So it will stay on Teams and you can go to your desktop, do whatever you want, you want to fix something, and then get back to Teams and unshare it again if you want to. All right. Uh, here, more actions. This is very important. Now, in the phone, mobile application, it doesn't show. All right. It shows three dots and you have half of these um, options. Uh, Miss Maya, can you tell me what do you have options? Yeah. Okay, start recording. Okay. Turn on live captions. Mm -hmm. Put me on hold. Mm -hmm. Share. Dial pad. Turn off incoming video. That's all. All right. Now here in our computer, in the desktop application, we have these options, as you can see in front of you. Uh the most important one that we're going to use as teachers, uh, which is more preferable for all of us to use, which is show background effect. 
why do we need to use that? Because teachers need to know that we have to look professional. All right. You need to click on this and you will see here at the right side a list of uh, background effects. I will try one and I want you to see it. Tell me what do you think and tell me what do you see, Ms. Maha and Ms. Maya, if you see. It takes a while. It takes like a few seconds to load. I will apply it. Okay. Can you see what happened behind me? Yes, it's different now. Okay. Now I'm at the beach. Okay. So it's preferable to use different backgrounds and it's preferable to be like this. Now, in the uh, button right next to it, show conversation, we have a conversation here. Now, we need to agree on a conversation together because when we have a class, we have many students and we need to ask the students to keep the, keep the uh, voice off, to mute their microphones. Why? Because the teachers need to talk and the students need to hear. If any student want to talk, the teacher and the students have to agree with something. For example, Ms. Maha, what would you like to agree with your students? Um, again, sorry. What would you like to agree with your students, Ms. Maha, if you want to, uh, if you want them to talk with you and uh, share? Because we said everybody uh, needs to mute their uh, device, their exactly. microphone. They have to mute yes. their device. Very How good. are you yes. going to listen because to them? We cannot all talk at the same time. So each one like or who wants to talk, like she can put like, her thumb up and she can put uh, yes. And then she can unmute uh, mute her uh, mic and then she can talk whatever she wants. So, yes, I can see. Thumb up. I've put yes, my thumb exactly. up. Ms. Maha can see it. You can unmute your button and then you can talk. That's for the students. The students need yeah. to talk like this. Everybody is muted. Everybody uh, is listening to the teacher and watching the teacher explaining something. Then Ms. Maha will say, yes, you can talk, Rima, now. Okay, I unmute and I talk. I'm a student now. All right, that's how it yeah, should and go. make sure that she will mute it again. Yes. The teacher also, she has the right to uh, mute the others. Okay. And also she has the right to um, uh, close the cameras for everybody. So teachers, you are going to be in control with your class. So also this is a note for the students to be aware that they have to behave in the classroom, virtual classroom. Right? Yes. Yes. Ms. Rima, yes. just one thing here. Uh, for those who are using uh, the, uh, the mobile phones, the conversation thing is not in the toolbox down. It's up on the right side, okay, of the phone. It's uh -huh. up on the top. So the conversation bar it doesn't look like this in the mobile application. It will be up on the Yes, side? on the right side, up on the, right. on the top. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Maya. This is uh, perfect. Um, what else now and we need to talk about? And one more thing, Ms. Rima. Yes. Yeah, you have to tell them that uh, to show the background effect, it's not for everyone. It's not there for everyone. So they have to make sure to, to be like uh, sitting behind a... That is not like colorful and uh, yes, no. thank you, Miss Maha. That's true. I will show you again. Uh, in case that you have in some computers and some um, uh, and some other uh, devices, you won't be able to use the option of changing yes. background. Make sure nothing is behind you. Make sure we don't want to be distracted with your area or the environment that you're sitting in. We want to have nothing behind you. Just clear a curtain, a wall, a plain, plain wall, plain curtain, anything. Okay, uh, that would be it for now. And we have, yes, this button. This button is for the chat. Next to the three dots here, more actions. We had hide conversation and show conversation. As you can see, this is it. These are the participants. All right. This button, the participants, now as you can see, we are four in this group, in this chat room. 
and there is one missing. So we have three people uh, are currently in the meeting. One is outside. So by this way, we will be able, the teacher will be able to know that somebody, some of the students uh, are not able to make it with, the meet, with us in the meeting. All right. Uh, if you want to add somebody, add someone else. Right. How can we add them and invite them to this meeting? You see this button in the right side? Copy, join, uh, info. So you need to copy it. Once you copy it, you open up. As you can see, I will open up Microsoft Office Word and paste the link that I just copied. And then I can email it to anyone who I want them to join the meeting. I can also um, add it uh, as a I send it through WhatsApp. If I have WhatsApp web here, I can send it through WhatsApp. So this is the the link that you can join to see the meeting. All right. So that's all for now. I hope uh, it was clear and uh, easy to understand. And if you have any question, you can contact us anytime.